settled start. I mean, maybe that'll get him going. Mario DeRozan on the wing. Defended by McDermott. Will fade away. Another one falls for Chicago. Takes such a delicate touch to hit that fadeaway jumper with a man in your face. Well, you know what, guys? DeMar DeRozan said he watched a lot of tape of Dwayne Wade working on the low block, learning to pass out of double teams and attack weaker defenders. That's definitely an area he can exploit in his own game. The Bulls leading by five. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. And for DeRozan, not a great playmaker, but he has made strides in that area. Yeah, last season he significantly improved his assist-to-turnover ratio, and that's exactly what you want to see out of your shooting guards because hey, even though they're not... Playmakers as point guards. Shooting guards are handling the ball too and making plays. Boy, I tell you, the Bulls showed how resilient they could be without Derrick Rose last season. They play competitive basketball, but up against the Western Conference, they just didn't quite have the same punch. Got beat up pretty good out west. And back to the Bulls against the West. Not sure what exactly their shortcomings were, but in the end, Steve, they were only able to win 11 games out of the 30 they played out of conference. You know, the Bulls were a team that could win games on grit and, and toughness, but the West was a lot more talented last year than the East. And so some nights Chicago just kind of ran into reality. I mean, they didn't have enough talent to deal with some of those Western teams. Chicago leading by four. Here's the pick. An absolute bomb from three-point range. 